Good morning, everybody. We are still getting our game on around here. The other day we were making some dice and other game pieces and things. And today we're going to focus on game boards because playing board games together, um, is, it's so good for us. It's good for our minds, as I've talked about. It's also just a really fun way for us to connect uh, with our family and friends. And the cool thing about classic board games is they really never go out of style. They're ageless, they're timeless. And it's an easy game for you to recreate at home and really customize some cool game boards that are unique to you and your family. And this project that I'm sharing with you here today is one of my favorites. And it's where I took an old TV tray set this is one of those old wooden uh, TV trays. It usually comes with four, and you can still purchase them new. It's all wood. Uh, you could also find them pretty easily maybe at thrift stores or garage sales, or you may even dig around your closet <laughs> and find one there that you can dust off. But each one of the trays then we customized for a, a different game. And this one here, uh, of course, is cribbage. My family loves to play cribbage. So to turn this into a cribbage board, uh, I simply traced uh, a pattern onto some cardboard and marked where all of the holes needed to be. And then I transferred this pattern onto the tray itself and then using just a drill with uh, a bit you want to use the same a bit that's just a slightly larger than whatever pegs you're going to be choosing to use and then you can see that I uh, taped off the bit so that as we drill all of these through they're all going to be the same depth which is nice and for your pegs really simple you can actually buy bags of cribbage pegs uh, you could use just some small little uh, wooden dowels or what I like, these are double-headed nails that uh, we just cut down and then kind of sand it and taper. These make really great pegs because they're um, fun to grab onto. And then for the Chinese checkers, this was a fun one because um, we used another power tool for it, but you may be able to kind of figure out another way to get your recessed sections for your marbles to sit in. But for your template, you just need a piece of pegboard. So you wanna cut out a piece of pegboard that is gonna have the right amount of holes for your cribbage game. And then you're gonna set that on your TV tray as your template. And then to actually get these holes in there, I used a plunge router. So I just went over each of those holes and that opened that up and did a really nice recessed section there that the marbles sit in beautifully. But again, maybe you could drill or carve, hand carve. There may be some other ways to go at it, but the router really makes it uh, pretty slick. And then for a checkerboard, of course, that's an easy one to recreate. You can just draw out uh, your design. We use the wood burner on a lot of these too to kind of accent some of the details and the outlines of the games. We could also write, um, um, you could transfer printout on your computer uh, the rules to a game and transfer it onto the board and then wood burn that into place. So if you need some scoring or uh, some basic rules that you like to have on there as a reminder. And then for the game pieces, with the checkers, it's fun to see what the kids come up with to play. Uh, you could use old buttons, maybe you have some found objects. You could cut up some, uh, use log slices work great as well. But having these types of playing pieces and the game boards that you've customized yourself, it really does make the game feel different and I think it takes it up uh, a whole nother notch. Now this uh, TV tray here, you can see that I put uh, chalk board paint on the top of it and that way you could do some drawing games on there or you could just use it as uh, a surface to play some cards on. You could cut some slits in there because sometimes little kids they have a hard time holding all the cards so if you cut um, a nice groove on each side the kids could uh, set up to it and then they'd have a place to set their cards out but they're a lot of fun to create and then they just pack away nicely. You can put them back on the stand, store them away and then when people want to play some games set them out, put up a couple chairs with them, and everybody can pull up a tray and play. So I highly recommend <laughs> you uh, maybe trying to create some sort of a customized game board at your house. Uh, if you have these TV trays, it's a beautiful project, or maybe keep your eye out for them the next time you're at thrift stores or garage sales. You could also um, use just some scraps of wood or some plywood to uh, make some like lap trays and game boards out of, but it's it's very rewarding and uh, again I challenge all of you to remake just one game at your house so you too 
can feel the difference. Lou, I knew you'd like this one because it has some power tools and stuff with it. <laughs> um, I didn't actually use them here, but uh, when I come over to, to your place, we'll whip up a game at your house that you can play too. <laughs> Back to you. That is a great idea.